Okay, it looks like I'm not dead. And this place looks like it's normal, alright. Okay, so wherever moral Oh what? Uh oh. This looks bad. Don't eat me. Alright, let's have to kill you then, I suppose. Thankfully they're easy to kill, but yes. What's up everyone? This is Maya Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last video, we met a girl named Marl at the Millennial Fair, and we tried out Luca's invention, but her pendant, but Marl's pendant reacted to Luca's invention, and as a result, she ended up disappearing into a void. We followed her and ended up here, and now we have to figure out where the hell we are, and we also and we also have to figure out where Marl is. And we have to find a way to save her and then bring her back home. Because I want to go back home already. I'm not sure if I want to be lost in this weird world. But let's move on. Do it for Marl. Do it for her. Oh boy, more monsters. Great. Thankfully these are very easy enemies. You can just kill them in one hit each. Even without a critical hit. Thankfully Chrono is so strong, especially with the power tab I gave him. Sometimes he's so strong and so fast he doesn't even need to get hit in the battle, which is nice. Now, before- ooh, a level up, nice! So you notice in that last video, I had 4 skill points that I needed to learn in order to learn Cyclone. That was a weird sentence. But now I've learned Cyclone, so now tech points will be- tech points will go into learning this new ability, Slash. So, you always want to collect tech points. They are arguably more important than collecting experience points. Yeah, that's right. Experience points may not be so important here. It's all about the tech points so you can learn all of your techs. And you will want to learn all of your techs here. Now, a nice little feature about Chrono Trigger is that you can skip enemies because there are no random encounters in this game. Any encounter you run into is either scripted or an encounter you can run into willfully on the screen. Like in this case, I walk up to it, I walk up to it, and I initiate a battle. Now a nice thing about Cyclone is that it's an area of effect attack, AoE, and it deals much more damage than my attack alone. So it's worth it for sure. Yeah, I feel so much powerful. And you know what? I want even more power by equipping that power glove I got before. Now I refrain from picking up this power glove, I mean wearing this power glove just because of speed, but now I'll be alright. Well, this place looks interesting, it looks very foggy, very dark, yet it feels very familiar. Very familiar. Let's go talk to the locals and see what's up. Man, this place looks very drab. Almost as if we're in, uh, almost as if we're in, in some sort of ghetto or something like that. Millennial Fair here. What are you talking about? It's the year six hundred and the first. It's year six hundred. Year six hundred. But weren't we in the year of one thousand? Did we just travel through time? Indeed, we did just travel through time. Welcome to Chrono Trigger, where we travel through time in our adventure. This is quite a tale. This is a tale that is timeless, and it has stood the test of time. Okay, enough of the time puns. What do I have to say? Oh, so you're, at, you're in war right now. And that's why everything is so sad. Jeez, it's like a huge contrast to the year 1000 back at home when everything was peaceful. Now everyone is so sad, it's so dark and there's war going on. Jeez. But yes, um, this is the exact same place we were just at, just 400 years in the future because there was a truce in back in 1000 AD. But what did the locals have to say here? Hello? Well, I guess everyone is an asshole back in the past. Well, shut your pie hole, fucker. I'm being so obscene with my mouth. Oh, that's inconvenient. That army is such... They're such troublemakers. 
Oh. Well, thank God that the queen is home then. I mean, it must have been quite the worry to lose your queen like that. Give me a drink. Now, um, let's talk to this new guy here. Hello, Toma. Well, I suppose we're both explorers since I explored through time apparently and you're just exploring. Now, asking him for a story does cost you money, but it's only a small amount of money, so let's see what you have to give me. What information do you have to give me? Because it'd be nice to ob obtain information about this new world we're in. Okay, so she was visiting the cathedral, but didn't they already find her? Well, thanks for your story then. Jeez, that was a waste of money. I could use use that money. I mean, I think it was like just one gill that I just lost, but still, I could use that one gill to like buy myself more hairspray. God. Anyway, so you can actually go sleep at the inn, but I don't need to. Now, there's an interesting thing in this bedroom here. Look at this fancy treasure chest. Well, I suppose it's a family heirloom, so that's why it's so fancy. Let's see what's inside. Let's see what's inside. That was weird. I just felt like my soul was sucked out of my body. What's the deal with that? Well, that was a weird treasure chest with that weird design. Oh, hi. How's it going? Bye. You didn't know anything about that weird treasure chest? Or how to open it? Or why it sucks your soul out? Okay, bye. Um, let's see what the other locals have to say around here, shall we? Wait, that bell looks familiar. Hello. You're Banta, the blacksmith. I'm fortunate to bell for the king to present to his, love, his beloved Queen Leanne. I lost her when the queen disappeared. Oh, well, good thing that she's back and- wait, for Queen Leanne. You don't mean that this is Leanne's bell, huh? Wow, it's an honor to meet you then. Leanne's bell is awesome, even though it keeps me awake at night. Hello. Wait a minute. Oh! Perhaps Bonta is Luca's ancestor. I mean, it makes sense since Taban is an ammo amogram of Bonta. So this is Luca's great 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 grandfather. Okay, maybe 400 years isn't enough for that many greats, but you never know. Anyway, so I think that's all this town has given us in terms of inf information. What does the market have to sell us? Okay, thanks dude. So you can actually buy some interesting armor here, like Karate Gigi and Bronze Helm. Karate Gigi what, what was that? Maya, hello. Just what was that? So shameful. So once again, I can feel free to sell my old stuff. Um, there's gonna be some points later on in the game where you should be careful what you sell, but right now it's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. Speaking of neighborhood, I wanna go over there, but I can't because this bridge is broken. Well, this is unfortunate. It's almost as if this is the same bridge 400 years later, but destroyed. Well, I hope the, I hope the Sir Cyrus returns, whoever he is, so that this Magus guy can be destroyed since this Magus guy sounds like a bad guy. Let's go to this cathedral since it's here. It's a nice peaceful place with some nice peaceful music. Hello nun. Hello sister. Uh, uh, okay sister, whatever you say. How about you nun? Ooh, I love organ recitals. How about you sister? Um... Okay then. Sometimes nuns can be awkward. Sometimes they like to singing in musical numbers. And sometimes they get married to Vaughn Traps. Uh, yes, I would like a place to rest, and I would like some food. I traveled from afar. You see, I'm from 1000 AD. Okay, bye. Um, there's nothing interesting here, so... I suppose we... You know, let's check out the castle, since we might get more information. We might... I mean, like I said, we want to find more about Marl, and... You know... Maybe the castle has people who can tell us about where Marl is. And besides, it'd be interesting to see what the- Oh, hello. But yes, there's also the drama at the castle about how the queen was found, so it'd be nice to visit them and, you know, maybe pay our regards to the queen, being all like, thank god you're safe. By the way, just destroyed everyone. 
You notice that my attack got stronger? It's thanks to the power of math. You see, accessories are nice, but sometimes I'll go for more, less straightforward accessories. Ooh! Oh, it's a crap. It's a trap! So, these guys shouldn't be too hard, but they might be annoying. Oh, perfect. Sometimes you just want them to be in the perfect configuration so that you can just Cyclone them to death. And right now we're just so strong. I mean, we're strong enough so that Cyclone can knock enemies out in one hit, which I prefer. Let's see and let's avoid that bush and go talk to this bush here. Hello. Uh, bye. So that monster dropped the shelter. A shell, first of all, you can organize your inventory, which I like to do every now and then. But the shelter is what you use in the world map to heal everyone. So this is very useful. I'll be using this a lot. The thing is, every time you go through the forest, you can go talk to this bush and you can always get free shelters. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh, don't talk to the bush, just stay away from everyone. I don't want any more random encounters, even though encounters aren't random. By the way, I should probably save since, you know, I want to... Um... You probably didn't want to see any of the spoilers, but... Um, I tried recording this before, but the recording session failed. But you can save any, any time in the world map. Now, when you're not in, in the world, world map, you want to save it as sparkly things. But let's go to the castle and see what's up. Hello, it's me, Chrono. You know, the... Well, thank you. My I do my hair, like, every morning. Uh, no, I'm not evil. I'm not with Magus. Okay, now you're just rude. I'm not a... God, you're such assholes. The past sucks. Oh, it's a queen. Well, she's nice. Oh, hello. You look nice. And a bit familiar. Uh, I am? Oh, wait a minute. Could she be... There's something odd about her. Like... Like, that's definitely her, but... That's also the queen. But she's acting like someone my age, like Marl. Is that actually Marl? But that's the queen. The queen can't be my friend Marl. Marl is from my time period. The queen is of this time period. Anyway, so this is Guardia Castle. <laughs> well, suck it. I have, I'm better than you. I'm shaking my head at you because I'm better than you. Now, in my previous attempt at Let's Playing This Game, I actually wrote lyrics to this song and sang along to this song. And people liked it. So, not to toot my own horn, but toot toot! You know what? I'm actually gonna play for you that song from my previous Let's Play, so let's see and watch, I suppose. The kingdom of Guardia will forever stand. The kingdom of Guardia, the best in the land. The kingdom of Guardia, it will never fall. The kingdom of Guardia will always stand tall. Bright and glory in our kingdom's great victories. Pride and glory in our blessed majesties pride and glory for our fair and beautiful land pride and glory for winning all we demand we we, we shall never falter we Shall always ride glory forever. 
<laughs> Jack Jerry is always on. Jack Jerry is always on. We will always reach for the stars. We will always reach for the stars. And achieve all of our goals. And achieve all of our goals. Guardia, 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 Guardia. Well, that was nice. Now you notice that I explored the castle um, when I was showing the clip, but I actually want to go more in depth into the castle since there's a bit of drama we can look into. First of all, you can sleep here for free. So it's much better than paying for the inn since you know you don't want to spend money on things that you can find elsewhere for free. You okay, man? What happened to him? Oh. That's a bit foreboding. Ooh, this looks, looks, looks exciting. It's a square table. Seeing the bridge is the last line of defense. You must guard it with the lies. Maybe it's a good thing the bridge is out then, because they can't get across, so you're protected right now. Thank you. Man, you're so nice. How about you? Who's Sir Cyrus? Um, no, I haven't. Well, you're not nice. What an asshole. What about you? Long ago, a beast called Yakra lurked in the western forest, but after the cathedral was built, Yakra disappeared. We're thankful for that. Well, thank God for the cathedral. <laughs> See what I did there? Anyway, what do, you have to, what do you have to say? Oh, so this is Sir Cyrus, the commander of the knights. See? Why can't you be nice like him, huh? He and a friend left on a journey to ten years ago. Oh, that's a shame. Do you think they're still alive though? I hope they are. Because like everyone said, it'd be nice if Sir Cyrus comes back, especially since this Sir Cyrus sounds dependable for this very dire situation. So let's explore some more. Let's explore this castle some more. Let's go to the right and see what else we can take a look at and see what other pieces of information we can gather. Actually, if you stand here and press A, we can get some free food. Yep, they're gonna give this food for us for free, so let's get the most expensive shit, shall we? Let's get the hyper kebab. Now, this food can also heal you, so that's also a nice alternative to the inn. What's up, Colonel? Jesus, that's a lot of food! And Chrono ate it all up. Man, you're fat so. You're fat, Chrono. Y you okay? Well, I mean, they give food for you for free, so... Just ask for food and you shall receive. Speaking of which... It's like he came back to life. I performed a miracle by talking to him. I'm Jesus. But yes, this place is nice. Everyone is so swell. Three out of what stars? Two? Because I that's what I give the chef. Oh, you know, 150% rating on Yelp, right? What do, you, what do you have to say? Yeah. Man, these army people are nice. They're so enthusiastic. They're so... Just so accommodating. Everything is so chill here. And we get some items as well. Hello, chef. There's no place for kids. No soup for you. What's this ice cream stuff? You mean ice cream? Gee, I wonder why the queen would want ice cream. Well, let's try to get out of here. Oh, here come the army people. Well, good thing I ate beforehand because it would have been awkward sitting with them. Since... You know, I'm not from around here, so... I mean, just wait for it. Just be patient. Just be patient. You know, the food here is great. Like, it's gonna be super awesome and it's free and... Okay, you're a needy customer. You're a horrible customer. You're just gonna irritate the chef. See? You're just irritating the chef right now. Don't cause drama. You too. Man. These two are just salty with each other, aren't they? What's up with that? Wow. Like I said before, the saltiness is mutual, apparently. What's up with that, dude? Hmm. I guess it's all personal then. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Oh, and he's under a lot of pressure too. So there's pressure and then there's this personal problem with the chef. Well... He must get a lot of stress then. Um, let's take a look around this and see what else we can find. Like the king, for example. Hello, king. Uh, 
I, s I did not, but sure. Then again, the queen also claims that I'm her friend. And now she claims that I saved her. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't think she would want to lose that. Okay, I will. What do you have to say, Chancellor? Chancellor Palpatine? What's wrong? What's wrong? So you can actually follow the Chancellor upstairs and see... Let's just follow him and see... Oh, treasure chest. Squirrel! It's always nice getting money. Ooh, there's another one of these treasure chests. That also sucks my saw out. What's up with those? Oh, here's the Chancellor. Hi. You okay? Well, isn't he just the right asshole in the face? Well, thankfully, I'm not the only one who thinks that. Me sneaking out at night? What? <laughs> I thought you were about to talk about the Chancellor again. Speaking of nutcases, the Chancellor's an asshole. I'm using the word asshole a lot in this video, I'm sorry. What is the thing with the frog thing? Hmm, sounds magical. Interesting. But frogs? I never expected frogs in my time travel adventures. Oh yeah? Why is the Chancellor nice then? Oh, because he's a religious man. He believes in Jesus. Well, let me tell you. There are people in the world right now who... You know what? I'm not going to make any statements about the country that we live in. The United States. Oh, I'm not too excited about the, the upcoming presidential election. I mean, I'm just going off vlogging here now, but let's go back downstairs and go visit the Queen since apparently she knows us. She claims that we have saved her and she looks very familiar. Not to mention she's also been acting weird. So let's figure out what's going on. Let's get some more tonic and gin and sing us a song, you're a piano man. That was stupid. The Queen awaits. Well, thank you. Nice moonwalking. What did you say about that? Okay, but... What's your name? Okay, Hodor. Jeez. You're so simple. Well, before talking to anyone of importance like the Queen or these two lovely ladies, let's get to Aether, which can heal your MP, which is nice. Well, you know, she just found the secret of youth. You know, the fountain of youth. Well, like, youth is all on the inside, and she acts young, so that's nice. Well, you're not nice. Alright, let's talk to the queen. Hello. I still say you live, look very familiar. Ooh, we got some private time with the queen. Awesome. So, what's up, queen? What's your story? Um... And you look a lot like someone I... You're also acting a lot like... I mean... Well... You sort of fooled me, but nope. That's right. Moral... This is moral. But... Isn't there also a queen? What is this? Oh. Maybe... She's not the real queen? But yeah, same. I'm also relieved that you're here. I'm just relieved that you're safe. That's the important thing. I thought you were in danger or something. Especially since you were sent off into the great unknown. I'm just glad that wherever we are, it's safe. No, I mean, I felt like I wanted to. I just wanted to make sure that I could see you again. I don't want to put anyone who I value into harm. My pleasure, Marl. Let's go back home, shall we? What? What is this? Maybe you should see a doctor around here, Marl, before you go back home. Right, maybe you should get some rest. Marl? Where'd you go? What happened? Marl? 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 Do 
you told me she... But why? How? What? Uh, uh, of course I was. Of course not. No, no, no. No, no. Uh, everything is fine. Everything's fine. Um, nothing is wrong, right? Um, maybe. Gee, um, I suppose I should be honest. I might have done something funny. Okay, you just like gossip, so I guess you can't help me. I know gossip is just tiring, but what happened tomorrow? Is she safe now? We just found her, and I thought I was gonna, you know, end this journey off, but then. Who is this? Oh, it's Luca. How'd you get here? You do realize that you went back 400 years to get here? Well, I did, and then she blew up into white light. It was horrifying to watch, actually. Scarring, too. What do you, th what do you mean? Okay, what is it with this whole, I recognize it from somewhere thing that my mom and you say? Well, I mean, this is the same castle from 400 years ago. Well, wait. Okay, so you mean to tell me that my first date at the Millennial Fair was the Princess of the Kingdom? What? What are the chances of that happening? Jeez, like a random date with royalty, what? And now she just died in my f- And now I just watched the princess die. Oh my god, we're in trouble. So this sequence is pretty cool, where they illustrate Marl's ancestry. As it turns out, it's roughly that many generations between Marl and Leanne. Okay. So Leanne was saved, but something changed. What changed, you may ask? So she was kidnapped, and then... Oh. Oh no. So, Marl traveling back in time actually accidentally caused her ancestor to die, which resulted in Marl dying, or just not existing in the first place. Oh my god. This is not good. Unless... Yeah, we can still save Leanne. I'm not sure how this works since if Marl... You know what, let's not think too much about it. But we still have a chance. If we can still save Queen Leanne in this era... Ceases to exist, really. But yes, if we, if we can find a real queen in this time period, we can stop Marl from dying, or we can actually bring Marl back to existence. And everything, everything would be fine. So yes, we must do what we must to find the real queen in the next video. Thank you for watching, and bye.